In this video today, I want to briefly talk about the 2020 Construction Cloud security features. The ability to control what a user has access to is critical. Thankfully, 2020 has the most complete and flexible security of any construction solution on the market. And the best part is that it can be customized to meet your specific business needs if required. We provide several security mechanisms to be able to have full control over what a user can create, view, edit, or delete. Everything in the 2020 Construction Cloud solution is defined by attributes. We can create rules that limit users or groups of users to the different parts of the system. For example, we can create rules that limit users to certain menus so that certain menus are not visible. We can create rules that limit users to certain parts of the system or functionality in the system. We can limit what reports they can see or even limit the information that is visible in those reports. We can even limit access to fields on the forms. Uh, we can create security rules to make sure that your users have the necessary restrictions or access to the things that your business requires. Security rules are the basis of the 2020 Construction Cloud. I don't want to get too technical, so we'll keep this as general as possible, but it's still important to help you understand how all of this fits together. There are essentially three types of security rules. First is the object access rules. These rules define who can create, read, write, and delete the different parts of the system. In the 2020 Construction Cloud solution, everything is an object. So for example, a project or an RFI, a submittal, a drawing, a specification, or a subcontract, etc. Each of these are objects. We can create rules that limit access to the different objects in the system. For example, I could create a rule that limits a project manager's access to RFIs. So when they got in and looked at their projects, they would not see the RFIs for that project because they don't have access. By removing that rule, they would have access to all of the RFIs for all of the projects. The second type of rule is a record access rule. Now these are conditions that records must satisfy in order to create, read, write, or delete. For example, using the previous object access rule, the project manager and the RFIs, we could create a record access rule that says project managers are only allowed to see RFIs for projects where they are the project manager. So now we've further limited the RFIs. Instead of seeing all the RFIs for all the projects, now they will only see the RFIs for the projects which they are the project manager. So with record access rules, we can limit access based on certain criteria, and this applies to all of the objects or all the data in the system. We can further limit access to data using the field access rules. The field access rules allow us to control what users or groups of users can see on the form or on reports. These rules are then applied to groups. Using groups, we can create a template of security rules, rights, and restrictions. When users are created in the system, they're then assigned to a group. A security group can inherit other groups. So using this functionality, we can create job roles that have very specific security permissions. You can use the job roles that we've defined out of the box, or you can make modifications to fit your company's exact business requirements. These roles that we've created fit the needs of 90% of the companies, but again, you can make modifications to fit your company's needs if required. I hope that this short little video was helpful in giving you some insight to the security of the 2020 Construction Cloud. Using it, we can control access to all parts of the system. Please don't hesitate to contact us with any questions. We'll be happy to help.